Hello, I am Anuj Dugal for the Developers Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. We recently launched the Jetpack Co Performance Library in Alpha. This library enables you to easily understand what a device is capable of and tailor your user experience accordingly. It does this by allowing you to obtain devices performance class on devices running Android 11, which is API level 30 and above. As an app developer, this means you can reliably group devices with the same level of performance and tailor your app's behavior to those different groups. This enables you to deliver an optimal experience to users with both more and less capable devices. We would love for you to try out the core performance library in your app. If you have any issues or feature requests or any feedback on the performance class requirements, please let us know using the Android issue tracker. Last year, we introduced a collaboration with the World Health Organization to build an open source software developer kit for creating secure, interoperable mobile healthcare applications. This SDK is designed to help developers build mobile solutions using the fast healthcare interoperability resources, global standard for healthcare data, which is being widely adopted to address fragmentation and foster more patient-centered care. The Android FHIR SDK will allow developers to more easily create applications that help community health workers in low- and middle-income countries provide better outreach and care. Our aim is to support an ecosystem of Android developers as they build the next generation of mobile health tools. For more information or to get up and running, see the project's GitHub and learn more about our work with the World Health Organization at our event, The Checkup with Google Health. Meet Zara, Android GD from Sydney. In her story, she shares that she started Android development in 2009 and hasn't looked back since then. She got involved in the local community by speaking at conferences and organizing meetups. Zara is a part of Google Developers Expert Program, which is a global network of highly experienced technology experts, influencers, and thought leaders who actively support developers, companies, and tech communities by speaking at events and publishing content. And as we celebrate Women's History Month, Zara encourages qualified candidates from across the world who identify themselves as women or non-binary to be confident and express their interest in joining the community by completing the form linked below. Women's Tech Maker is a program focused on building a world that supports women to thrive in tech. With more than 1,200 WTM ambassadors around the world, the community aims at providing visibility and resources for the women to stay in tech. And as the International Women's Day season is going on, India is hosting the biggest International Women's Day event on 2nd and 3rd April. This year's theme is Progress, Not Perfection, and you will see women and allies from across the country coming together to empower, inspire, and learn from each other. Visit iwdindia.in today to know more about this event and reserve a seat for yourself. Recently, the developers' stories from India were covered at the Google Developers India YouTube channel. Log in there to stay updated with the latest news and updates from the developers and startup ecosystem in India and join the nearest developer community. That's all folks. To learn more about all of this week's stories, make sure to check out the description box below for all the links. Please remember to like, subscribe, share and stay safe. I am Anuj Dugal for The Developers Show. Thanks for watching and we will see you next week. Google developers. Yo. <laughs> All the funny things I'm doing here.